Okay, so enough jibber jabber. Let's open up this box and see what these shoes look like. Never change, this is Jay every day. Never change, this is Jay every day. Never change, this is Jay. What's up? What's happening? It's Jay Napoleon. It's your boy. It's me, live and in person. Not in person because you're not here with me, but you're here with me. <laughs> really excited about today. Sorry if I sound like crap or if I look like, you know, not my best. I had a long night last night. Got to see Metro Boomin live. If you ever get a chance to see Metro Boomin, you should go see him because he's got like hits like up and down the charts. Yeah, I'm going with some coffee and then we get to open this box. You get to open, it's like, it's like you're opening this box with me. All right, so here in my lap I have the most incredible cop I've ever had, I think as a sneakerhead. If anything collab, I usually strike out for two reasons. One, I rely on my really long fingers. Uh, two, because I have a size, a kind of a big size, size 13 slash 14. Most of the time I'm pretty much a size 14. But this time around, I took a chance and boom, I got a pair. I've been sitting on this since it dropped. I just, first of all, I wanted to make sure that I just kind of talk to the camera, talk to you guys. Just kind of like show my true feelings about um, how lucky I feel copying these shoes. I want to say thanks for watching. I appreciate the love. Make sure to subscribe to Jay Napoleon. That's me. Make sure to like the video, make sure to comment. So it's just a quick recap of what, what this shoe is about. Virgil Abloh is a designer. Um, it's famous for collabing with um, Kanye West and uh, he designed uh, 10 shoes. Uh, well, I guess I have a whole capsule. He designed 10 shoes for Nike and most of these are um, kind of like legacy shoes. A lot of them are legacy shoes. So like the one Jordan 1 and like the Nike Air Max, the one that I have here, 97. And there was basically two separate themes to the, co to the collection. Uh, the first theme was the revealing, and then the second theme was ghosting. Uh, the revealing is kind of like uh, showing the inside out, I guess the deconstruction of the actual shoe itself. And then the second theme was the ghosting, which is basically adding more translucent uppers to the collection, adds to the revealing part, but at the same time uh, has a more modern look to the sneakers. And uh, yeah, I don't know, hopefully you guys got a pair. Uh, that's all pretty much I have to say. Okay, so enough jibber jabber. Let's open up this box and see what these shoes look like. Smell great. Woo! I'm just gonna show, I'm just gonna show one for now. <laughs> Man. First look at these. Uh, in person, I mean, I've seen a ton of pictures of these, I guess, but uh, these ones, look at this. Side by side. Wait, this way. <laughs> so let's talk about a few of the details. Obviously, first detail, lateral side. Got the trademark, off-white branding. Off-white trademark for Nike. You have the Air Max quotation marks, and you have your tin organ. A really nice um, translucent tongue on the inside here. The Nike label sideways on the tongue, which is so dope. All these details are like really, really nice. And then you got on, on the uh, on the other side you have air quotation marks and your big Nike swoosh. Interesting that it put the swoosh here where Nike tends to do that nowadays. So I'm so glad it's on here instead. You got obviously the 360 air bubble here. I really like how these are just toned down. You know, these are just like much, much toned down in the revealing section. Got the off-white logo there. Uh, hits of orange. One there, and then one there. And then that's about it. As soon as you step down on the ground, these will be dirty, dirty, dirty. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Let's take a closer look. I took a few shots outside. Join me next time. Sorry. I get caught up in smelling sneakers. <laughs> All right, till next time, peace. Thanks for watching.